everyone, we are Ashley and Jayma Mills from The Handmade Home and we are back for week six of Jeffrey Court's Spring Renovation Challenge. We are joined with Thistlewood Farms and Sincerely Sarah D and we're just honored to have been judges this round and it's been so much fun. This week is down to business week. So we shaved up and everything and we're ready to dive right in to see what's gonna happen. And our first participant, Amanda from A Crafted Passion. That kitchen is amazing. It is night and day from where she started and We've seen the progress all along, so it's just amazing to see how much work and effort they put into late nights, but it looks beautiful. The kitchen, it's just such a difference here. Kitchen is so light and bright and airy, and your accessories are like on point. Your dining room and kitchen, they work so well together. So you have to get, you guys just have to be so happy with your new space because it's absolutely stunning. Next up, we have Amanda from Love and Renovations with their hallway bath. They uh, came a long way with that. I love the floor tile they chose and used in there. I mean, it just looks beautiful and amazing. It's a brighter space, it's inviting, so well done. It looks so good and you guys have to be so proud. It's a beautiful bathroom. Up next is Amy from Her Tool Belt. That entryway is so pretty with the whole wall that she did and of course we're biased towards the tile on the floor. It's what we have in our basement, it's so pretty. That panel molding and that transom those are absolutely amazing. Like, I want that in my home. It's bold, it's dramatic, it creates um, a real true entryway when you walk into the space. It just looks absolutely amazing. Next up is Amy from Always Never Done with her bathroom redo. She has that tile that she used on the bathtub. Just looks amazing, I love it. Uh, just great choice for that tile. It's a really different pattern with the Jeffrey Court choices and I really like the application in that. And the painted ceiling, that painted ceiling is everything. I love, it just kind of set your project apart from some of the other projects. Great attention to detail. All your tile came together so well. The bathroom looks really, really pretty. And so way to go, Amy. The before and afters are absolutely stunning. So you did a fabulous job, so way to go. Up next is Jenna from Jenna Kate at Home, and she was working on her kitchen. That kitchen has come so far with the flooring and the hood that she built. It looks really great. It's just so pretty and wide in the space. It's such a calm, beautiful place to create and to cook and for your family to gather. I think you've truly created a beautiful heart of your home. This is definitely that white kitchen that everyone dreams about and it's beautiful. So I'm so excited for you guys and I hope that you enjoy your new kitchen. Next up is Jennifer from Bachelorette Pad Flip and she's been working on her bathroom. The bathroom looks amazing. I'm, I think one of my personal favorites that ties in with all the tile, of course, is that barn door is pretty cool. Your pattern accent tile wall is absolutely perfect for the space. Um, and I love you did a floor to ceiling. That was a great choice. I mean, I love your floor too. It's amazing, but that tile wall, girl, you rocked it. Looks amazing. Next up, we have Carissa with her bathroom renovation. Those floor tile are so pretty combined with all the other patterns that you chose. I just love the combo. I was drooling out the side of my mouth a little bit. They're super pretty. The tile on the floor though is still one of my favorite tiles in the whole Jeffrey Court collection. Amazing job and you used it and the other tiles really set it off to perfection. As far as your tile selections goes, you uh, your tile selections were one of my favorites. You did such a great job just bringing those three tiles together and they work so well together in the space. Up next is Christy from The Pickled Rose. Her bedroom has come so far. The fireplace looks so great. It does. I love the tile she chose and I really improved it from that before picture for sure. I mean, that was just a, a huge leap forward. So great job with that. Again, one of my favorite tiles, the Jeffrey Court Emblem tile, which I just think is perfect in any space and it looks amazing on the fireplace. Next up is Leslie from My 100 Year Old Home with their bathroom addition. And I think we both agreed on that floor tile just being simply amazing. So pretty. I love how you have modern touches and it kind of like modern touches meets old farmhouse style and it, it just looks really good and I think it's a perfect uh, just addition to your home. Just her styling's very on point. It's beautiful. It is a bathroom I would be honored to have in my house. So Leslie, you did an incredible, incredible job. And next time I go to Waco, I'll be sure to knock on the door because I think I need to stay there. <laughs> Up next is Liz from Frank and Ellie, and they were working on their bathroom. And I'm just gonna say and jump in right away that I love that tile. I'm obsessed with that tile. It looks really great. It does. The floor tile is amazing, and I love the shape of it and just how it plays with that whole room. And she paired it with a lots of green and kind of um, very organic elements and accessories in the space. And it just brings a fresh life to kind of a bathroom, which is a room we often overlook. It's so pretty in this space. I love your green touches in the space and it just 
It looks so good. Next up, we have Morgan from Construction to Style. They have been working on their bathroom. They have, and they've come a long way. Now, remember last week I dedicated the rally cap to them because there was some distance that needed to be made up, and I do believe they made it up some this they week. They really came from behind and nailed it. It looks great. And I love how the new shower turned out. I mean, I think, um, you know, you had to move the plumbing and it turned out just, it was great. Everything you did to kind of get the space ready turned out absolutely beautiful. And I also love the black trim you added. That was a fun touch. So, way to go. Up next is Sarah from Dreaming of Homemaking and she was working on her fireplace. They just finished that up and it looks really great on the bottom where they applied that tile and everything's so nice and crisp and white and just really pretty. You added shiplap which looks great and it fits your farmhouse style. Um, the tile looks so good in the space and so you did a great job. I like it so much better than the fireplace that you had there before. It's just so much more current and I think your family's probably going to get a lot more use out of it and um, great job on the project. Next up we have Sonia with her bathroom redo. And you know what my favorite part is, is that she took that tile all the way to the ceiling. I mean, when you have a chance to display some beautiful tile, you should do it, and she did. She just layered in this classic, classic look. It's a timeless look. It would go in any home, and any home should be honored to have Sonia's bathroom. And then I also love the niche you guys added. And it looks so good. It doesn't even look like the same space. And up next is Stephanie from a divine living space. And she was working on her bathroom. I mean, those before and afters are amazing. I am obsessed with her unique application of the black tile wall with the white grout. We're seeing a lot of black this season, but I do think that is a fresh impact in the way it was applied in the herringbone pattern, along with the white grout. It looks really great. Oh my gosh, I love, love, I put all caps. Love, love, love how the tile on the back wall turned out. And you were spot on to not paint the beadboards black. I think let that tile shine. It's amazing what tile can do. And this is a perfect example of how tile can transform something because that bathroom or that bathtub does not even look like the same bathtub. It's so beautiful. We have Uni from Love Your Abode, and they have done their master bathroom. They have, and there was some trickery there. You're so excited. I am. <laughs> like, for like the last several weeks, we're like, oh, are they not going to do the tub, the they surround around it? That's a mistake. That's a mistake. And then we open up this weekend, bam. He's really excited. They did it. I'm speechless. Your bathroom turned out so incredibly beautiful. The where do I begin? The floor tile, the wallpaper, the um, the adorable pictures of y'all taking on the task. I mean, absolutely amazing. All the wallpaper you added is good, and of course the tile selection is fabulous. You painted the cabinets and that made such a difference, so it looks so good. You guys have to be so proud. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. We are honored to be a part of it for our how many, how long in a row now? It's the third season. It's, we're thrilled to be a part of it. and. We're also thrilled that the public gets to vote because it's too much pressure for us. It is. So, like Ashley's saying, make sure you go and vote. You're a vital part of this whole process. You can go to hd.jeffreycourt.com, cast your vote for who you think should win this, and someone will win a $5,000 prize from this. So make sure you do that. Get the word out to all your friends to get them to come and vote for who you think is the best. And we will be back tomorrow, hopefully live, to tell you who the winner is. So many beautiful spaces. You should all be so proud and we love them all.